Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com and today's episode I'm going to show you a quick fail-safe way of growing hollyhocks. If you haven't already subscribed to us at Learn How to Garden, there's a link appearing above me right now. Click that link and input your email address. It means you get the other 50% of the films that appear nowhere on video aggregators to see. It means you get the in-depth written posts we do. You can find out what is so special about the monthly gardening club at Learn How to Garden and all the other courses that we do here at learnhowtogarden.com. I love hollyhocks, I love the simplicity and the beauty, and I love the fact that they are great for attracting pollinators because they've got those big single flowers. But they can be quite tricky to grow. They're a member of the mallow family, like lavateras, and they like really, really well-drained soil. And a lot of people at Learn How to Garden have sent me questions saying they're having problems with germination. And the reason for that is, one, the seed might not be particularly fresh, although it will last three to four years if you look after it properly. And two, you're probably using this stuff, which is normal multi-purpose compost. The trick to growing successful hollyhocks is this, sharp sand. And you add about a third sharp sand to the multi-purpose compost that you're going to sow in. You want very good drainage. If you see hollyhocks growing profusely, you will find they grow in very sandy, very, very <coughs> well-drained and quite impoverished soil. You then put that soil simply into either modules or a seed tray. Pat it down and then if you're using modules, take a couple of the seeds per module, they're quite big, and just gently put them onto the top. This variety is called Stolen Over a Hedge on the Ile de Ray on the southwest coast of France. It actually says on the packet, no idea what colour, it'll be a surprise. But the Ile de Ray is probably one of the best places in the world for seeing hollyhocks grow well. Once you've put your seeds in, take some more of your sharp sand and cover them. You do not want these seeds sitting in water. They will grow in more or less pure sand. You then take this, immerse it up to the rim in water, Leave it for five minutes until the top is glistening. Take it out and then put it into a cold frame or just under a cloche outside and you leave it <coughs> for about two weeks. After two weeks, this is what should emerge. These are hollyhock seedlings. These are the seed leaves and as you can see, very quickly they start to put on their leaves. At this size, we need to prick these out into an individual module using the same mix of at least a third sharp sand for them to grow well. They'll grow quite happily, you can then plant them out, they'll overwinter and you'll get those fantastic big saucer-shaped blooms next year. And because it is a simple single flower, it will attract the most diverse range of bees and pollinators to your garden. Thanks a lot for watching Learn How to Garden.